What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NFL playoffs, divisional round, top DFS picks. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm gonna go over my top picks for this week's NFL slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, NFL playoffs, we're in the divisional round. So let's take a look at the quarterback position. So I like Josh Allen from the Buffalo Bills playing the Kansas City Chiefs who have the 12th worst defense overall and they give up the second most fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks. Josh Allen has averaged 26 fantasy points per game on the season and he's getting an average of 7.2 rush attempts per game. So I like that rushing floor. He's gonna be about 17% owned. And oh, we're taking a look at this four game slate. So this is all the games here on Saturday and Sunday. In the next videos, we'll do the Saturday only slate and then we'll do the Sunday only slate. But for this video, we're in the four game slate, all the games in this one, so Josh Allen is projected at 24.5 fantasy points here in the divisional round of the playoffs. He's 7,600 DraftKings salary, 1,200 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 54.5 points scored in this game with the Bills trailing by two. So Josh Allen has scored 42, 24, and 24 fantasy points in the last three games. He got six, five, and 15 rush attempts in those games. So Josh Allen has the best matchup on the slate, and he's playing in what Vegas thinks is gonna be the highest scoring game on the slate. So he's got that rushing upside, and he put up some monster points last week, and I expect this game to be a shootout. So I actually like both quarterbacks from this game. Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes, but I do prefer Josh Allen here versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Okay, now if you wanna save some salary at the quarterback position, I think this guy's a little bit underpriced. Take a look at Matthew Stafford from the LA Rams playing the Tampa Bay Bucks, who have a good defense overall and they're middle of the pack defending opposing quarterbacks. Matthew Stafford has averaged 21.8 fantasy points per game on the season and getting an average of 1.9 rush attempts per game. He's going to be about 14% owned, projected at 18.4 fantasy points here in the divisional round of the playoffs. He's 6,200 DraftKings salary, 1,200 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 48.5 points scored in this game with the Rams trailing by three. Now, Matthew Stafford has scored 24, 20, and 20 fantasy points in the last three games. He did happen to get six rush attempts last game, although I'm not expecting that moving forward. You'll see an average of one or two rush attempts per game for Matthew Stafford. But I do like this pick because he's been playing really well. Odell Beckham Jr. is stepping up his game, especially in the playoffs. You know Odell Beckham Jr. likes the bright lights. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. And Cooper Cup didn't really have a great game last week, so I'm expecting a big bounce back game from Cooper Cup. And we gotta keep an eye on that Tampa Bay front line protecting Tom Brady. 
they may be able to get to Tom Brady and the LA Rams might get a lot of possessions in this game and I do expect the Tampa Bay Bucks to keep the scoring keep the pressure on so I expect this one to be a passing game script so I like Matthew Stafford here versus the Tampa Bay Bucks okay let's take a look at the running back position now this guy was a big letdown last week but I'm expecting a big bounce back game here this week so I like Joe Mixon from the Cincinnati Bengals playing the Tennessee Titans who have a middle of the pack defense overall they've been pretty good versus opposing running backs Joe Mixon has averaged 18.6 fantasy points per game on the season getting an average of 18.3 rush attempts per game and three pass targets per game he's going to be about 28 percent owned projected at 17.7 fantasy points here in the divisional round of the playoffs he's 6,600 DraftKings salary 1200 more on FanDuel Vegas thinks there's going to be 47 points scored in this game with the Bengals trailing by four. So Joe Mixon, he scored 12 fantasy points last week. He had 17 rush attempts and five pass targets. So didn't do as well as a lot of people thought he would do. He was my favorite running back pick last week. I mean, he didn't kill your lineup if you played him. His salary wasn't out of control or anything. Um... But he definitely could have got more in this one for the touches that he got. So I am expecting a big bounce back week. So I like Joe Mixon here versus the Tennessee Titans. Okay, another running back that I like is Devin Singletary from the Buffalo Bills playing the Kansas City Chiefs who have a middle of the pack defense overall. They're middle of the pack defending opposing running backs. Devin Singletary has averaged 11.8 fantasy points per game on the season getting an average of 11.1 rush attempts per game and 2.9 pass targets per game he's going to be about 23 percent owned and he's projected at 14.7 fantasy points here in the divisional round of the playoffs he's 5900 DraftKings salary 1300 more on FanDuel and Devin Singletary has been on fire scoring 24 25 and 26 fantasy points in the last three games off of 16 19 23 rush attempts top of four two and one pass targets and we know Vegas thinks there's going to be 54.5 points scored in this game with the Bills trailing by two so I like Devin Singletary here versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all the tools for NFL. NBA is right around the corner. This is a great time to get in and try everything for one month. The tools are all about saving research time. You can see the last three games, the fantasy points per game, the targets they got per game, so you can see how involved they are in the offense, the rushes they got per game. Seeing all this stuff on one screen helps you save time and make better picks. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the wide receiver position. So I am expecting a big bounce back game from Cooper Cup. Now, he scored 17 fantasy points off of seven pass targets last week, uh, but he's used to putting up 20 plus fantasy points and he really didn't get those points until later in the game. Now, he's projected at 23 fantasy points here this week. He's 8,600 DraftKings salary, 900 more on FanDuel. And I am expecting a 25 plus fantasy point performance from Cooper Cup. Going to be about 30% owned. So I like Cooper Cup here versus the Tampa Bay Bucks. Now another stud on the slate that I like is Debo Samuel. I like the rush attempts that this guy's getting. He is 7,600 DraftKings salary, 1,000 more on FanDuel. He's averaging 22.3 fantasy points per game on the season getting an average of 7.6 pass targets per game and 3.7 rush attempts per game. 
But take a look at his last three games. He scored 20, 29, and 17 fantasy points in the last three games off of three, six, and six pass targets, but on top of 10, eight, and seven rush attempts. So he's getting more rush attempts than he is pass targets. He's projected at 22.6 fantasy points. I think he's gonna have another monster game here. He's gonna be about 19% owned. So I like Debo Samuel here versus the Green Bay Packers. Now the other guy you gotta keep your eye on is Jamar Chase from the Cincinnati Bengals playing the Tennessee Titans who have the middle of the pack defense overall. They give up the second most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. Jamar Chase has averaged 18.9 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 7.5 pass targets per game. He's going to be about 17% owned, projected at 25.6 fantasy points here in the divisional round of the playoffs. He's 7,100 DraftKings salary, 1,100 more on FanDuel. And Jamar Chase has scored 26, 5, and 59 fantasy points in the last three games off of 12, 4, and 12 pass targets. Now, that game that he only scored five fantasy points off of four pass targets, they were resting their starters, so that wasn't really a fair performance, but had a great first week of the playoffs with 12 pass targets and 26 fantasy points and this guy's priced lower than Debo Samuel, Devontae Adams, and Cooper Cup so in terms of your stud wide receivers if you want to save a little bit of salary on a stud that can put up 25 plus fantasy points take a look at Jamar Chase here versus the Tennessee Titans. Okay moving on to the tight end position I like Rob Gronkowski from the Tampa Bay Bucks playing the LA Rams who have a good defense overall. They're middle of the pack defending opposing tight ends. Rob Gronkowski has averaged 15 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 7.4 pass targets per game. He's going to be about 26% owned, projected at 14.1 fantasy points here in the divisional round of the playoffs. He's 5,800 DraftKings salary, 1,300 more on FanDuel. Rob Gronkowski has scored 14, 24, and 22 fantasy points in the last three games off of 6, 10, and 10 pass targets. So I like Rob Gronkowski here versus the LA Rams. Now I also like Travis Kelsey He's only 6,500 DraftKings salary, 1,700 more on FanDuel. Now, a lot of people were picking Rob Gronkowski over Travis Kelsey last week. Uh, I said I would just rather pay a little bit more for Travis Kelsey, and that worked out pretty well. He scored 29 fantasy points off of seven pass targets. He's averaging 17.2 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 8.4 pass targets per game going to be about 24% owned. So I like Travis Kelsey. Oh, he's 6,500 DraftKings salary, 1,700 more on FanDuel. So this week he is actually 700 more than Gronk. That's kind of why I like Gronk in this spot here if you want to save some salary at the tight end position. I think uh, the, the price adjustment that DraftKings made on Rob Gronkowski makes him a little more attractive here this week but I still like Travis Kelsey here versus the Buffalo Bills. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.